It's Defense Force of Trinidad and Tobago taking on Golden Lion FC of Martinique. Mike Watts on hand, we welcome you. It is in the mid 80s here tonight, Fahrenheit, and the rain should stay out of the forecast despite that ominous cloud cover off in the distance as we approach sunset here in Martinique. Take a look at the groups here in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. This matchup comes from Group A, which features Cavalier, Mocha FC, and AC Port of Spain as well. Group B will see the top two go through to the semifinal, where the top finisher in Group A will see the runner-up in Group B, and vice versa. And that's what the bracket will look like. This is a Golden Lion team that plays their first game. It is a defense force that disappointingly drew Cavalier. They're hoping to make up some ground here tonight, but they'll have to do so in unenviable circumstances in Martinique. First time these teams have ever faced off in a CONCACAF club tournament. This Golden Lion team is certainly the best that Martinique can provide at this point in time. After all, as the three-time reigning champion and under a new manager who knows the importance of this tournament, the expectation is that they'll play quite well from the jump. They've got a number of players who've capped in the CONCACAF realm before, either in Gold Cup, although a few of those players are missing here tonight, or potentially uh, in other CONCACAF friendly within the region. Teams are taking the field right now. There was a venue issue that's caused about a 30 minute delay to kick off. The team's got an extended period with which to warm up on the field. Went back to the tunnel about 10 minutes ago and are now just getting back to their benches as we approach kickoff here tonight. All the while for Defense Force, they are the reigning champion of the Trinidad and Tobago Premier Football League. This is a weird thing for Defense Force because they went on to win the league that would have gotten them directly into this tournament. But instead, as the, at the time, second place team, they actually had to go through the shield in order to make their way here. They end up going into the CONCACAF Caribbean shield, doing just well enough uh, and advancing their way through. So fascinating sort of uh, juxtaposition as it may be. You know, Defense Force, they scored against uh, Cavalier of Jamaica only six minutes in. What happened after had to be a disappointment to Lloyd Andrew. Made it quite clear they're happy to have a point in the drawer. After all, their fellow countrymen out of Port of Spain failed to take anything out of their debut game in this tournament against Mocha FC of the Dominican Republic. They got a point, but they felt like they deserved more. They owned the majority of the game, but they ultimately played too negative for their liking. Now they're going to have to find a way to be just that little bit more clinical when they get the ball and advance through the thirds there to actually get the job done here tonight. Fans filing in that Cavalier and uh, Defense Force game was uh, reported to be about 5,000 in attendance. It's uh, a Caribbean Cup that's a totally reimagined concept of how teams will qualify into the CONCACAF Champions Cup in its newest iteration this coming year. It's a tournament that already is going to see Lionel Messi involved as the League's Cup offered Inter Miami a place in that tournament. The reigning champion, of course, Leon. That's set to debut uh, early in 2024. And the sides that will actually get into that tournament, you've got your teams here out of the Caribbean Cup. You saw the bracket. The, the winner will go directly into the round of 16, which is a great place to be. You may end up being on the, the lower end of the pots when it all gets sorted out, but nevertheless, you'll be in position. The Caribbean Cup, as it pertains to the runners up and the third place team, they'll move directly into the first round, which will see 22 teams compete for uh, 11 positions. So you're gonna get paired up and eventually squared off in short order. And that's what makes this tournament so enticing. You have a chance to totally skip that preliminary round, round one of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. And of course, you get the ultimate yeah, glory of being the best in the Caribbean. The announcement being made to welcome these teams onto the field here in Martinique. They have waited long enough in the case of Defense Force to try and make up for all the disheartening disappointment 
of their opening game in this tournament for Golden Lion, a chance to roar for the first time in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. It's a club that has as much success as any at this level out of the Caribbean. The defense force three times over. They've uh, been in the CONCACAF Champions League and Cup in the past couple of decades. They've also won the Champions Cup twice in the 70s and 80s. Teams are on the field. We approach kickoff in Martinique. Teams meet with one another. They meet with the officials. And kickoff is now imminent in Martinique. This tournament peeks through the curtains for the first time in this country. And Fort de France. Photos first, then the exchange of pennants and pleasantries. For Defense Force, they've taken a rather stoic approach to their effort. The Wild Golden Lion, a few smiles sneaking through there. As Lean starts in goal for Jean-Francois Gull, who just returned as the manager of this side in the past few months. Timona, a well-known player within CONCACAF, but all eyes on the number 17. Kevin Parsimon is the best goal scorer in the history of the league in Martinique and in the history of the Martinique national team. Roberto da Silva of Curaçao is the referee for this affair. Dominica, Bermuda, and Aruba all represented among our crew here tonight as well. The lineup for Lloyd Andrew and Defense Force. Jamali Garcia wears the captain's armband once again. Justin Sadu will try and respond after his manager uh, quite uh, quite disappointed with his overarching performance in midfield. Rayon Moore scored the only goal for defense force against Cavalier. Devon Goddard has been around this block many, many times. Was featured in the Champions Cup as well. Hoping to lead this team back to that point. Big, big game tonight. We've seen it in the Central American Cup that has advanced further along at this stage. Some big teams got behind the eight ball in the first one or two games of their group and never recovered. Olympia being out, shocker. If you're the side from Martinique, Golden Lion, you let this opportunity slip through your grasp, a chance to take on a reeling team on your home ground. If your defense force only one point from your first game, can you really afford to be with just two games remaining, one point in the can? Golden Lion, the debutante in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. Welcome defense force of Trinidad and Tobago. And we're underway. And the referee ensuring that we don't get lost in the weeds tonight with a very early whistle.
Parsimon sends back. That's Noel. Lamassine, the 27, drives forward for Golden Lion. Slips this across for Parsimon. Take it on by Baguette. Lamassine with the team from 2017 on Bagda. Half dozen goals in the Caribbean Shield race. Certainly not afraid of the bright lights. Three goals in the shield for Parsman. Five career goals in the Gold Cup, including a pair against Mexico and one against the United States. Tough tackle that's with defense force. Something in the drawer, Lloyd Andrews said, of the Cavalier match that saw them draw 1-1 and sit in a tie for second through the first of four match days the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. This is danger for Meslin. And from that, Catherine brings it forward. Space to explore for Parsimon. This is positive from defense force. The ensuing long ball out of the reach of Kim Thomas. 20 year old from Trinidad and Tobago, acquired from Rangers this summer in the push, the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup title. given away cheaply by Noel. Sprinting forward, Rayon Moore. With speed now, sent the service. Tapped away by Noel, who atones but concedes a corner. Offered by Moore. Sent out to Grele. Remains with the side from Trinidad. Back set header. It's handled by Meslin. And quickly distributed. I'm a scene. Did earn a cap last year with Martinique. A brief cup of coffee within the French youth national team. For those unfamiliar, Martinique unaffiliated the FIFA level as opposed to the Confederation here in CONCACAF, the overseas department 
eligible to play in Gold Cup Nations League. And yes, the Caribbean Cup and potentially the Champions Cup. That was one of the major problems that they've experienced over the last eight years. They keep qualifying for the Gold Cup. And they keep having to deal with the fact that their call-ups don't necessarily require clubs in Europe to seed players to Martinique. Moore. Felix. Garcia. Justin Garcia will play on the left in that back four. Jamali Garcia on the right. Goddard. Coriat. Given away cheaply. Bartholary. And recovered by defense force in the attacking half. And the offside flag negates any opportunity here. Slip ball through. Seemed to just get a, a little bit stuck. Ball reversed by Noel. Meslin. Garcia. Maybe room to run for Boreal. Goal and an assist against Deportivo in an 8-0 win. The Caribbean Shield last year. Moore, out of the reach of Goddard, kept it for just a moment, Timon. Jamali Garcia. He captains the side. Balance. Ball thrust through by defense force. And the cross with an appeal for a handball. That's a tough spot for the referee. Would need to rely entirely on the AR if there's anything there at all. Room to explore. Lamazine. Boreal leaves off. Lamazine. A touch to her goal and deflected away by Garcia. And a corner for Golden Lion. Corner for Golden Lion. First ball's away. Second ball from Thomas. Lobbed to the halfway line.
Felix. That's Garcia. A dozen caps in his international career. You know, the fun part about seeing some of these teams that come through the Caribbean Cup is that you can really see the reflection of the growth of the national team at the club level. Ball driven through. You know, one thing we learned on the field from the Spanish women's national team that won the World Cup, that beautiful football they play, they do it year round. Barcelona has such a role within that national team setup, just given how many players feature for the side. And it leads to a continuity on the field, club and international, that raises profile. The nature of Golden Lion at the tad different, you could argue. Defense force as well, with so many players now featuring overseas. The attack is on here. Parsimon steps by. Witty as ever, flicks the ball through for Catherine. The return, and the shot is right at the goalkeeper, Baguette. And the first really decent chance in this Caribbean Cup group stage game. Ram Moore wants this played over the top instead. It's seeded to Timon. Options percolating the ball through for Parsimon, hoovered up by Grele. Boreal. Now this shot goes whistling well off frame for Golden Lion. There's the Meg. There's the little return. I'm a scene off target. Sam, lost by Grele. In from Felix. Goddard wins a free kick, despite the fact it's Lemassine on the ground. Hold up play. This is really good for defense force. Ball is well above the bar. The player was well offside. Well. closer than it appeared from our angle. Nevertheless, nothing ventured, nothing gained. No VAR in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup group stage. Floated into the width. Offside flag runs amok once more as we approach the quarter hour mark here in Martinique. This is the club that's won five titles all since 2015. AR had that right on. So a uh, remarkable decade for Golden Lion FC. Now the fourth most titles of any club in Martinique. All since being promoted for the 2009 campaign. Martinique staying up now for a decade and a half. themselves a rather enviable place to play. Winning three titles in a row can do that as well. All played square. It's 
good football from defense force. Floated ahead, header out by Sam. Played down the line, Thomas delivers the cross. Moore was approaching. Kept alive by Felix. Goddard. And a corner for defense force. Side that represents Trinidad and Tobago's Army and Coast Guard. Officers, soldiers, sailors. And footballers. Every member of the squad hails from Trinidad and Tobago. Jelani Felix. Offering header is high. That's a dynamite chance for Garcia. Stuff from Thierry Catherine. Parsiman denied. Sadu forward. Towing that front line, Sam. Sam will press. Pressure ensues from Boreal. escapes Parsman been sure to want to get off on the right foot here tonight doing so he can set golden lion up to be the the real surprise of this group Boreal Riel hangs up, Baguette. Fildy had been hampered with, the referee agrees. Alvin well, Lamassine whistled for the foul. Garcia, Rayon Moore, from him to score from here would hardly be once in a blue moon, rolls this centrally, and cleared by Golden Lion. Garcia, Felix, I'll let the ball dribble away. Woo! 
the old Dylan's Honor Stadium as it was once known Pierre Alaker Stadium now. Main stadium here in Fort de France. About 18,000 could sit here. Of course has this track on the outside to welcome in track and field events here in Martinique as well. A little pirouette, clever, Catherine rolling. Boreal had come in and a corner to Golden Lion. Plenty of danger. Nothing to show for it just yet. There it is, wide. How, how, how? Balance got forward. Golden Lion unable to find the opener. Free kick, Golden Lion, midway point of the half. Won the hard way by Timon. Good chance to look back at this little uh, give and go. Ball circulated the back post. It looked like either player could have had it. Parsman was inches away, both from the goal mouth and from the incisive header. Give and go for Golden Lion, put wide. Lamassine. That's blocked, recovered by Felix. Is there a chance to counter here for defense force? Coriat. Moore wanted that played to him. He had turned and made eye contact. Up from Felix. Still danger. Ball brought down. Lamasin dribbles calmly to Baguette. And now a foul lets Defense Force finally off the hook. Well, this is. It's not very well dealt with, and a good bit of skill at that. Lamasin, who scored so delightfully in the shield. Well, both sides have had their chances now. Certainly Golden Lion, the better of the bunch. Change Parsimon. Oh, my God. 
covered by Felix. Garcia. Baguette. Pressure on coming from Boreal. Recovered in midfield by Golden Lion. Stymied by Coriat, but that's brief. Swing into the penalty area, not to be. Turned over, played through by Coria, seeking Sam. Trailing run emerges. Sadhu, all across for more looping over the bar. Mondesir, a big collision, a big chance, ball knocked away by Baguette. Lamassine unleashing. Given away by Goddard, Boreal, Parsimon. That deflected by Garcia, back through for Boreal, and now Baguette can take an elongated breath. What a chance for Golden Lion. Looked like when Parsiman crashed in here to Garcia. A wide open look from 20 yards. To get those well with that. Ball wide for defense force. And the service to Brent Sam cut off. Boreal now is fouled. This venue did host a very young 20-year-old Usain Bolt, just as he was coming to the fore in the international fray. Ran a 20-second 200-meter dash in this venue back in 2006. Of course, went on to eight Olympic gold medals. World record holder across a, a number of sprinting disciplines, still in the 200. set just three years later in Berlin. Here he was in Martinique, this very venue. I wonder the 18,000 there, if they recognized that they were watching the fastest man alive. You never know what you'll see on a given day. Catherine. Lamassane, advantage play, Parsiman returns. Ball through Boreal, who was offside. And a delightfully quick restart 
from defense force and now the ball through its offside the other way. What it's worth, three years allowed Usain Bolt to cut eight tenths of a second off the time that he had here. Such the slim nature. The record he still holds. Recovered by defense force off a of misguided clearance. A trio of striped shirts come together. It's back with Felix. And down the line, Thomas. Cuts back Moore. Rayon Moore driving through. Vital intervention rolls to Mesline. He had done all the hard work right on the doorstep and at the last moment snuffed out. And he'll be the danger man tonight without doubt. Thomas, Sam, Dragged wide, supporting the width. Kavon Goddard. Thomas. Seeking Rayon Moore. Clarence. Sadu. Defense force enter the final third once again. Slaloming through only to see Golden Lion up to the task once more. Two reigning champions, Defense Force of Trinidad and Tobago, Golden Lion of Martinique. Golden Lion's debut game in Group A could go to the top of the group for the time being. Defense Force could as well with a win. That pesky game in hand. Rayon Moore. Cuts back, Moore, and the shot blasted away. Follow up toward the line, diving back to deny Brent Sam. Mesline made the save on Coriat and nearly beaten by Sam, but the double save to survive. Pouncing back as any Golden Lion would. Had a long look at that, nothing doing. Defense force will go away to Port of Spain, although that's a far simpler travel proposition than Martinique. Then they get to host Mocha FC in the finale in this group. It's all there for defense force. Lloyd Andrews said upon arrival tonight, spirit of the group, very high. Despite taking on a Cavalier side that cavalierly put five teenagers in their lineup and still took a point out. Coria through. Moore will not count. The irony of the defense force lead in possession is that they've been in their best winning the ball at the halfway line or better.
Noel. Meslin, busier than he probably anticipated to this point. Certainly worthy of wearing the shirt this night. Buriel, Parsiman, allowed all that traffic to go whizzing by. Buriel had the option wide. Instead, Lamassine. The appeal was for the offside flag on the other end. I don't think they would have gotten it. Nevertheless, Thierry Catherine can't hold it in. Catherine approaching a decade with the club. Did have a very brief spell in the U.S. with then known Swope Park Rangers. The offside flag denies Sam this moment. Catherine, part of the uh, old MLS Caribbean Combine. The nature of this tournament in some ways acts as the perfect window to the world. Clubs overseas, and if that's the direction a player hopes to take their career, you do know they're watching. Barging through. There's nothing there on the cross. Evading the corner by playing upfield. Well done. More. Moore, Rayon Moore reversing all the way up to the goalkeeper. Ball spills, Moore there again. And now the whistle to Golden Lions rescue. Rayon Moore remains a menace. Sam goes plowing through. And Messlin took the brunt. So the goalkeeper will be uh, looked at here. Here's the ball from Moore, and then the whistle blows here. You would think it would be a whistle on Moore at the end there. He's the one wagging his finger, but initial contact from Sam certainly left uh, Gilles Meslin. Bit discombobulated. The 34 year old from Martinique. Check of the gloves and back to his feet. Canterley Foucher is available off the bench tonight for Golden Lion at a very strong tournament. Caribbean Shield. Runners up. A loss 5 1 to Robin Hood in the final. Defeated Club Sando in the semis, but absolutely dominated the group. 11 1 over Southeast of the, of a Dominica, rather. Scholars International from the Cayman Islands didn't fare much better. 4-0.
on the wild water house you would anticipate would get here and withdraw from that tournament. Instead, it's the Surinamese side, Robin Hood, wins the shield. Lamassane! What came from nothing. Dribbling through traffic. Baguette flies for it. Luckily for him, the ball flies wide. for Rayon Moore. His frustration, his body language gave it away immediately. It's been a fruitful endeavor flying the ball into Rayon Moore on the run. He does appear to be uh, offside. Side again. As Lloyd Andrew claps his hands. Goddard. Crashes in. It's with Golden Lion. Parsiman. Parsiman wins a free kick. Golden Lion have proven very tricky on the ball. And now with 100 ticks to go before first half stoppage time. Won a free kick off of Justin Garcia. Parsiman has scored over 130 goals in the league. 57 caps, 35 goals for Martinique. Maybe they try and outwit themselves, but surely you wouldn't blame Parsiman for going on goal here against Baguette. Parsiman did go for goal, and he regrets that he did. Garcia navigates as we enter one minute of stoppage time. You can tell Meslin happy to take this to the break. Moving toward those freshly laid lines on the field here. As Ian Dark would say, you have to appreciate the Gardeners. Ball through here for Golden Lion. Lamassine. Boreal! He got the look. 
cranked it well wide as the first half concludes. There are enormous points still hanging in the balance. And they're most desperately needed by the roadside from Trinidad and Tobago, who would hate to be just two points from two games, knowing the top two of five get out of this group. Half time in Fort de France in Martinique. Golden Lion nil. Defense Force nil. Scotty Abbott, qui est le de sponsoriser la Coupe des Caraïbes de la Concacaf 2023 parce que le football inspire les enfants et transforme leur avenir. Alors visitez www.scotiabank.com slash FC pour en savoir plus sur nos initiatives du football. Qatar Airways a le plaisir d'annoncer qu'il sera le partenaire après la réunion officielle de la
Field and Fort de France. Can they pick up all three points in their debut game in this new CONCACAF Caribbean Cup? Or is it defense force of Trinidad and Tobago who carry the day? A draw would leave both disappointed in their own unique way. The second half is underway in Golden Lion and Defense Force. by Goddard. Player carrying the show. There were hands to the face, perhaps. Alvin Lamassine came up through Golden Lion, did spend some time over in France at AS Poise. Ends up in camp with the French under 16s. Capped for the first time with Martinique last year. Thing doing on this particular occasion, it appears. Pressure from Sam is half hearted. Thomas, led by Jordan Timon, brother Jan also playing in the national team, real estate agent too for that matter. A couple of gold cups now under Timon's belt, 2019 returned in 2023. What a gold cup that was for Martinique, huh? Qualifying through the preliminary stages, knocking out Puerto Rico. Two goals to nil, then going into the group stage and just stunning El Salvador. Totally clipping their wings in the tournament. Fell 2-1 to the eventual finalist, Panama. And then played one of the craziest games in recent memory of the Gold Cup. A 6-4 back and forth teeter-totter affair with Costa Rica. Ended up on the wrong end of Defense force into the final third. A chance, and there's the goal. Ray on more. Finally, he has his marker. Defense force lead. Two goals from two games in the tournament. Chance after chance. Finally, he has delivered. And a player whose talent prodigious enough to see him brought to Municipal, the giant of Guatemala, before returning this year. He scored in the sixth minute against Cavalier. Now he scores the opener again tonight. And now it's up to Defense Force to actually see this through. They felt they became perhaps complacent, simply playing football that was too negative once they garnered the lead. They'll do everything in their power to avoid that fate tonight. Right moment for defense force. Moore was really busy, especially with those flighted balls down the left hand flank in the first half. Caught offside on occasion. They really didn't have a good answer for him. Suppose that is uh, officially continued 
into the second half. That was well recovered by Golden Lion. Spun out into space. Lamassine. On the play it early, he was losing control of it. Kept alive by Boreal. Rele watches this over the line. And uh, injured player for defense force, they're saying just a, a stretch, not even that. Ronaldo Coria back to his feet. 22 year old is featured in the youth setup. The Soka Warriors. 13 minutes against Cavalier. Chance to start here tonight. through for Thomas he lost his footing he's recovered he's won a throw Thomas curls for the back post hit on the first time and whisked over the bar by Mesline. Rayon Moore to the four again, this time receiving service. The corner, ball snapped wide. That was the moment for Justin Garcia to take control of this because Gilles Mesline came off his line and absolutely whiffed. Circulating, defense force on the move again, the ball to Sam. And Golden Lion looks completely out of sorts. A corner for Justin Sato and defense force. Corner, Sam. Golden Lion better figure this out fast. Both these teams at an odd point. Domestically, they've already run the race. Here they are arriving in the Caribbean Cup at the end of August. Felix, Sam. He thought he had taken it, but Bartholary whistled for the foul.
Changement pour Défense Force, en tenue numéro 13, Ibaldo Goya. Daniel Garcia. Thirty-year-old off-season acquisition for Defense Force. First sub by either side. Oriat. Oriel on the scene. interaction for uh, Spanish Garcia. Four Garcias on this team. Whether they all get on the field at the same time remains to be seen. Thomas, Thomas crossing dangerously for Sam. Twelve minutes gone in the second half. Rayon Moore finally in the 48th minute. His due. Rushing on calmly to Kasim Keller. Sadu on to Thomas, who was offside. by Balance. Away from Parsiman. Joined the club in 2021 at a spell in France. He was in the Congo, time in Thailand. Looked like he had potential to latch on with the Seattle Sounders once upon a time. Torn ACL weeks after arrival. Upset that apple cart. Thomas Long. Flag is down for the moment. Remains down. And Mesline will seek out the return. Chance for Golden Lion to respond. 
Ball is away. Still, Boreal continues after Parsiman targeted. in the 48th. This will put defense force back in position in group A to control their destiny from here. And the Port of Spain game carries all the weight in the world. Technically be a, a road game for them in international competition, but uh, an opponent they know quite well in Trinidad and Tobago. And with it, you could argue the simplest of road affairs that you'll find in CONCACAF. Layered out to Thomas. Is this the dagger? Thomas swung it wide. So often he's settled for the cross. It was all a tease. Offering intently. Simon shoved off the ball. Goddard a foul. This game has been cardless. It will remain so. Parsiman gestures. He'll take the set piece. Could pull Golden Lion level. Parsiman dangerously but narrowly high of the leaping Bartholary. Slinks back. <laughs> Foul at the halfway line. There's the first uh, yellow card worthy offense of the night. It's Goddard. Goddard on in the international stage, at least, you could argue. From the club side, the most experienced. Played all over Trinidad and Tobago, but played against Pumas and Saprissa. Santos Laguna of Mexico in uh, then CONCACAF Champions League. Handful of caps for Trinidad and Tobago's senior national team as well. Parsiman. Thomas. Support from Catherine commits the foul, trying to retrieve off of Keller.
Keller. Garcia. Big get. Then the switch right back up. Relay. Turned over, attack is on Garcia. Pushes through. Chance now, chipped at target. What a tremendous effort by Mesline. Tips that over the bar by a narrow margin and denies Rayon Moore. That is stunning goalkeeping to get anything on that. In swinger, caught by Mesline. Turns out he can really climb a ladder, can't he? Really? Jean-Francois goes second uh, stint as the manager for Golden Lion. Three season stint previous. Sam. Held in by Lamassine. feels too fast right now. And Golden Lion. Bree sought to give advantage. Now he seeks to check the injured player at the halfway line. Shouting in pain. This does not look positive. This is not a fun one to look at. All tangled up that left leg. to walk off on his own and argue the call along the way. handed the substitution card in, whether or not they make the change. This exact juncture may try and brave this out. 
Card still in hand. Could use his Bartholary able to return. Ball deflecting through. Off for Sam, chested back to Meslin. Goddard, pass was wayward. Catherine. Free kick, Golden Lion, and a chance to make their change. Boreal coming off. Rossen comes on. Thomas and the newly inserted Grassen. There's a push in the back. A bit of frustration bubbling. We've uh, reached that point in the proceedings tonight. Sam overzealous. Oh, pushed in. There's room here. Bartholary to get a cross through. Serves to the back post, had her down. Parsimon! He went for something otherworldly, and he's paid a price. Certain goal scorers just know the occasion, and without doubt, he did go for it. Vital block, or we're talking about the goal of this tournament. the stretcher hopefully it proves unnecessary Golden Boots in Martinique. Goals against Mexico and the United States on the brightest stage in CONCACAF. Hardly uh, anything that Kevin Parsimon has not already accomplished. 
Now he seeks a Caribbean title. I doubt him catching fire. The best chance Golden Lion have of reaching that affect. Terry Catherine will put it in play. Header snap down, Sam. Still work to be done. Tuning in now, there was a venue issue that caused a, a slight delay to the game. Just shy of a 30 minute delay, the kickoff here tonight. And so we play a little bit later this evening in Fort de France. Bartholary. Relay. Ball through. Sam asking questions. Layers across. Out of the reach of the long standing run of Thomas. Fortunate for Golden Lion to have to throw from here. gone against defense force. Here's a, a yellow offered Justin Garcia and Goddard now on cards. Defense force will go to uh, Port of Spain. Mocha, Golden Lion, they're just starting up. They'll go to Port of Spain, middle of September, go away to Mocha. Maybe a chance here to pull level, trying to beat the goalkeeper between the legs. Jordan Dimon denied by Baguette. And Keller is out of gas. didn't squeeze down fast enough. 85 degrees at kickoff tonight in Fort de France. Well, the sun's gone down. Still 83 and a uh, remarkably humid night, as one would anticipate. 84%. Luckily for us, a uh, perfectly dry night. Anywho, Defense Force will go. Port of Spain and Mocha will come to them. Golden Lion, they've got all three games still out in front of them. Even if they fall here, a path forward. Go away to Port of Spain, away to Mocha, and then host Cavalier here the first week of October.
change coming. Isaiah Garcia comes on. And indeed, four Garcias on the field. Isaiah, Nathaniel, Justin, and Jamali. Jamil Cooper in as well. Parsimon, advantage played, slides through, Bartholary pickpocketed. Garcia, Sam, offside. Thomas. Pressure on Grelet. Brings it back here to defense for us. Thomas leaning through. This is onside. This is Cooper. Got his feet caught beneath him and never got it across. Devastating for Brent Sam. He may never get his moment in the sun tonight. Corner for defense force. Had her back across. Chance to really get beneath that. Falls to Felix. Felix curling back post out of the reach. Goalkeeper Meslin. We approach the final five minutes tonight in Martinique. really kindly to Parsimon and layers it through now chip toward goal recovered by Biget Rasen golden opportunity by the wayside Five minutes remaining, and does this possession advantage lead to tired lion legs? It's perhaps a bit of a surprise that the newly minted 23-year-old comes in now. His 23rd birthday yesterday, Kennerly Foucher comes in off the bench from St. Lucia. Is it for Catherine? Second change, second window from Jean-Francois Go. Oh. 
Arseman will chase. Wins the throw for all that hard work. There's something laid here for Golden Lion. Mondesir. by Sam. Roll away. Back to the fourth official. Final two changes. See Shaquille Holder and Curtis Gonzalez on. Brent Sam's day is done. In the end, he does not leave with a goal, but he did so much. The hard work tonight up front for defense force. by a uh, true out and out defender. So likely a change in shape here. It's an aggressive Jamali Garcia stepping forward. It's a matter of minutes now. from Bartholary. That is a carbon copy of the previous ball out of play. Again, Lamassine unseen here in the 90th minute. Free kick here for Golden Lion. Now the nature of the group stage, who knows if goal difference is gonna be relevant. So how much do you really wanna risk? Especially knowing you may have a decent amount of stoppage time tacked on here. Four added minutes. Kevin Parsimon, he had the keeper going all the wrong way. But yet got caught in the tall grass. Ultimately, Parsimon never challenged him.
play on. Lamassine rolls to Timon. Relay. Options blossoming. It's caught between two mines. First minutes evaporated without a lion chance. Win here for Defense Force puts them above Mocha for the moment. Ball through, and this is onside. Defense Force can end it now. The ball across is right at the goalkeeper, Meslin. It's not clinical enough, and the points still hang in the balance. Free kick, Golden Lion. Parsimon. Parsimon with a deflection. Crow hops into Baguette. Who controls into the final minute. This did hit the wall along the way. Another chance to counter for Defense Force. Another chance to plant the dagger. Merely choose to take the time away. That's offside. Opens the door for Golden Lion perhaps one more time. Got to come forward now. Balas. Lamassine got away. And that should be it. Awaiting the final whistle now. That is full time and Defense Force move to the top of Group A with a gutsy win away in Martinique over Golden Lion. A 1-0 win with Rayon Moore scoring three minutes out of halftime. They've jumped Mocha and they've jumped Cavalier and moved into first place with two games played in Group A while Golden Lion drops their opening salvo in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. These teams are gassed and you can certainly understand why. Golden Lion will next play at Port of Spain. That's not for three weeks. Defense Force, their next match will come at Port of Spain in a month. Until then, for our entire team in Martinique and beyond, Mike Watts saying thanks for watching as uh, it's Rayon Moore with the winner. Defense Force to the top of Group A over Golden Lion.